Hi, this is Joshua Stern. Thanks again for watching our video blog. Today's topic is how to deal with a low appraisal. So first, there are a number of reasons why appraisals come in low, and here are just a few. Artif artificially inflated values um, because of multiple offers. Incorrect evaluation by the underwriter. Overpricing by the seller. Inexperienced appraiser who doesn't understand influence on, on value. Rising market values due to limited inventory. Appraiser looking at pending sales data from the wrong areas. Declining market values due to fewer buyers shopping among a larger inventory of homes. Fallout from an abundance of foreclosures or short sales in the neighborhood, especially when no other comparable sales exist. So buyers receive cash back in this, uh, excuse me, buyers receive cash back from the seller. These are seller's concessions, and when they're built on top of the price, that can cause appraisal values. One factor that does not come into play whether the lender wants to make the loan or not is lenders want to lend money, but they're prohibited from doing so on low, low appraisals. So here's something that you can do as a buyer. You can make up the difference in cash. That's right, the appraised value versus the purchase price value. You can make up the difference in cash. A low appraisal does not mean the lender won't lend. It means the lender will make a loan based on the ratio agreed to in the contract for the appraised value. All right. Now, the seller can also lower their price. If the home was overpriced or the value was inflated, often this is the best solution. It makes the buyer happy and the lender satisfied. There's no guarantee that if the buyer walks away, the seller won't receive a low appraisal from the second buyer's lender. Not to mention the time and the trouble it takes to sell the property. And sometimes a bird in the hand is best. The seller can offer to carry a second mortgage for the difference. Uh, this rarely happens, but a seller can offer to carry like a 5% or a 10% second something along those lines. Or perhaps you just don't have faith and you want to order a second appraisal. If your loan's an FHA loan, ask the lender for a list of approved appraisers. Either the seller or the buyer can pay for a second appraisal. Sometimes the second appraisal will come in higher than the first, especially if the first appraiser was inexperienced or made mistakes. If your loan's conventional, then it's subject to the rules of the HBCC. So as soon as the parties find out an appraisal's coming in low, or if they're not familiar with the market, then they have every right to contact the lender, preferably in writing to demand a local appraiser be used. So I would recommend at that point in time that you prepare a list of actual comparables, send those over to the appraisal company and see if that's something that they'll use. Also, you can ask the agents to call the listing agents of pending sales to try to find out the actual sale price of those properties. Those are the ones that are under contract that haven't closed yet. Sometimes they'll give you that information which can help with the appraisal. Compromise on the value. Sometimes sellers will back on, uh, back off a little bit if the buyer comes up with maybe a little bit of money. So regarding, uh, you know, like a $10,000 seller might agree to accept a $5,000 cash in hand and then lowering the price by $5,000. And finally, you can cancel the transaction. I know that this isn't what you're looking to do. You didn't want the appraisal to come in low, but if you've gone through every route and exhausted those options, you can cancel the transaction, hopefully within your due diligence time frame. And maybe the seller might sell for more money by putting the home back on the market and looking for a new buyer. As long as the low appraisal was not an FHA because the new appraisal could be very different. FHA appraisals are actually assigned a case number. So if the first buyer was FHA and the second buyer was FHA, the same appraisal would be used. I hope that makes sense for you. If you have more questions, contact me at the information below. Thanks.